I don't know. What do you think, a buck? What, this? Yeah, I don't know. If you got a place to put it without getting cut, oh, have yeah. a good day. Yeah. <laughs> you could put it in Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. Hey, don't act silly. All right. A rabbit, my shoe. Is that a rock in your shoe? Need to know. Okay, where is it? Oh, there it is. Here, come here. Come here. Ugh. There you go. <laughs> Calm down. Ugh. There you go. Okay, no more rocks in your shoe. Okay. I will rock things. What is it? Oh, just the built in? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a hand. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, well, right, we'll be back. We'll be back before you donate. <laughs> it's chilly out, Sarah. Yeah. What's that black and decker? Is that a leaf blower? Yes. I need a leaf blower. How much is that? <laughs> Elliot. Oh. Box is empty though. Maybe a leaf blower somewhere around. This place is dirty. Can you buy this? Daddy. It's just an empty box. Yeah, okay. Did someone buy it? Maybe. Let's we'll see if we can find it though. Is this for sale? Yeah. Oh, you see it? How much is it? There's some jars, Sarah. Seems like a lot for. They look old though. Wow. Alright kids, calm down. Hi you guys. Hi. Say hi. Hello there, sweet thing. Say hi. Oh, that's <laughs> Do you have the charger for this? No. No? As one lady bought it. Oh, okay. And it's the old one. Yeah. And I doubt if you get a charger for it. So. Man, I wish I had one. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Have a uh, charger. Have a charger. Probably did have it. I don't know what happened to it. Probably, yeah. But it happens. All the grandkids and everybody was going through here taking a look at the body. <laughs> that is that? a towel hanger for a bathroom or a kitchen. You see that, sir? It's a towel hanger. That's awesome. Pretty cool. Ed made that. The guy that, that used to live here. Oh, really? He made all this stuff. That's he cool. made a lot of the furniture. That's kind of neat. But uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's a towel hanger. Woodworking is a lost art, isn't it? Huh? Woodworking? Yeah. A lost art. And some of the stuff he made, like this, I'll show you one of these, but he made it off the grit. Great grandkids are getting all this stuff. But the grandkids, great grandkids are getting all that. So. that some of the furniture out there he made. Get out of there, brother. <laughs> We're still settling. Okay? <laughs> hey buddy. Here. There's your one for your toy box. Oh, look at that. Say thank you. That's a car. Say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> These two ducks that have nested behind the There you go, sweetheart. You better go. You Say thank quack, quack. you.
want that too. No. It's okay if I start a pile somewhere. Yeah, or? start a pile wherever you want. Put it over here. Okay, sounds good. Be real careful in here. Is there? Look, I knew we'd find one today. Yeah, that's funny. That dolly's got a glass face. I'm making bread today, and oh. I needed enough for bread pan. Oh. So I'm like, this is sick. There you go. And I had a recipe for donuts, oh, and she, I didn't have a donut pan. She hand, baked so. a lot. Oh, really? Years. So she baked a lot, and she catered weddings and made wedding cakes. Mm -hmm. There's more. Um, there's all kind of cooking stuff. Oh, okay. Stuff. Some stuff. cooking stuff, Sarah. I have like 75 cents on most of this stuff, a dollar. These, these three of these for five dollars. There's measuring cups in the quarter. Okay. And this stuff over here, she, she catered a lot, so she's got a lot of these pans here out, seven bucks for both of those. These are classic. Man, they're hard to wrangle, aren't they? We live Arizona. We lived in California 45 years. Yeah. We're only we're only about 20 minutes from Lock. Is that for sale? What, honey? This. It was just a little knife that was sitting right here. Oh, I don't know. You know what? Okay. I don't know. Is that my knife? Oh, is it? Okay. okay. I can roll this outside. I guess it is. It was laying out there. No, it was mine. It was laying over there. She. It don't close up either. No. I don't know. What do you think, a buck? What this? Yeah. I don't know. If you got a place to put it without getting cut, oh, have yeah. a good day. <laughs> you could put it in this. Look here. There's a thermometer for food. Hey. Yeah. Big thermometer. Here's my black pen outside. <laughs> what? That's a string. Did you say string? Can you buy this bill? Yeah, you tied on there and pull your car, right? <laughs> by the string. Let me see what you got going on there. Yeah, I know I see where you're coming from. Oh, yeah, you're definitely going there by your car. That's your duck. Is that your pizza oven? Uh bread maker, do you know if it works? Yeah. I mean, I Alright, I'm gonna grab that too. Okay, set her over there in your pocket. Right. There's a pizza oven somewhere. What the hell is that? That's kind of nice. A little heater. All right. Oh yeah, and then this stuff. I'm here. You're here? Yeah. All right. I didn't see a price on these three, th or those four things. Let me get the stuff out of her hand real quick. Oh, you don't know how much everything is. Three on there for you. What's that? 24? Yeah. Okay. What do you got? And she said that she remembered all these prices, but... I damn buddy. I think she's telling the fuck for all this. Okay, I think all this stuff was it's a dollar. Yes, a dollar. and then there's a dollar knife, and, and then, then two. the little hearts <laughs> so, are twenty-five cents. So four, six. Those are twenty-five. Cents. Six fifty. This is fifty cents. 
This is 50. All right. Oh, 25. I'm 25, sorry. 25, yeah. 650. What was that? Just take it. <laughs> so. And that's 50 cents. So okay. So we're at seven, eight, nine. And then how much is that stuff? I'll pull you one. You say 22 or 24? I like your purse. Oh, I'm crazy you. about gray. I, he bought me one for Christmas. It was $100 I sent away for it. And it really wasn't what 24 wanted. plus 9, it's a 33. Keep the change. Yeah. Give me $7 change. Because those are like four. Those are like Daddy. Can you sell that pizza? No. Daddy. No, I didn't. Did they keep the change? No. They were being too fair. I was just trying to. All right, everyone. We are back from another really awesome garage sale run by a really cool couple. I believe this was either a brother or a friend that passed away and they came into town to just try to clear out stuff. And I mean, they were basically giving stuff away. I tried to pay them a little bit more. I think they undercharged me in the first place once I got home and added everything up. I think they were just trying to clear the space out. So we ended up picking up some really awesome stuff to resell. So real quick, let me show you what we did grab. I think we paid 33 bucks for everything and that included a bunch of kitchen stuff for Sarah and a couple toys that the nice man just gave to the kids. But this stuff here is definitely the meat and potatoes of everything. This is a Garmin 260W, not one I normally pick up, but it was in really good condition and has the box and everything, and that usually helps the value. It was priced at $5. Who knows what I actually ended up paying for it. These can go for as low as 5 to 10 bucks for just the unit, but with everything included in the box, I think I can get upwards of probably $25 for it. This Breadman Ultimate Plus was marked at $15. I've been hearing rumblings of bread machines going for a lot of money. I think I kind of missed the boat on getting top dollar for it, but they're still doing okay. This one's really clean. It's a little dusty, but it's got the instruction manual on it and everything. There's no residue on it anywhere. So just a quick wipe down and I should be able to do okay with it. Picked up this vintage Nelson oscillating sprinkler. I can't find an exact comp on this one here, but whenever you see these old Nelson sprinklers and they're cheap like that, you might as well just pick them up because some of them can go for 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks. So in my opinion, that was a good pickup for $2. Here's a couple odds and ends, an old candy thermometer. I think it's probably only worth about maybe eight or 10 bucks. Some old packs of transfer paper. I think these sell for about five bucks a pack and I got three of them. Here's an Apsco giant pencil sharpener. It's screwed to this wood, but it can easily be unscrewed. If I clean off some of the rest, I think I could probably get about 15 bucks for it. I got two, two packs of this Black & Decker weed eater spool. It was priced at 50 cents a thing. It's kind of late in the season right now, but these still sell for between 10 and 15 bucks. If they sit around till next year, I could probably get 15 a piece out of them, which isn't bad for paying 50 cents each. The two big winners of the day are these right here, and these were just complete guesses. It seems like I'm running into horseshoes everywhere now that I've been told that I should buy vintage horseshoes. These were marked at $4. I could not see what brand they are because they're a little rusty and pitted, which is no big deal because they're easy to clean, and I mean, you, you know, you can always respray them and stuff too. But once I got home and got my trusty loop out, it turned out that these are vintage Gordon spin-on horseshoes, pitching horseshoes. I think the date says either 1958 or 1960. I can't remember for sure. I'll, I'll have to get the loop out again. But these have a really good sales history. From what I can tell, they're a pretty sought after set of horseshoes. So, so definitely look out for Gordon horseshoes. And I mean, honestly, if you see a set of horseshoes that are vintage at a yard sale for $4 for all four of them, just pick them up because they could be a home run like I think these are gonna be. In my opinion, the coolest find of the day. Again, I could not read what it was, but when I got my loop out, I found out that it's a kinsfolk 333 knife, either a hunting or a fishing knife. It's very small, so I thought it was like a kitchen paring knife or something. But it turns out that this seems like it's a pretty rare knife and it sells for upwards of about 70 bucks. I wish it had the original sheath with it. Unfortunately, it doesn't, but still for uh, what they charge me a dollar, definitely can't beat it. I don't think there's any available right now, so I'm gonna try to ask a lot for it. Maybe clean up the blade a little bit and see if I can get 40, 50, 60 bucks. That'd be pretty sweet. I always grab vintage knives, especially if they look interesting like this. So that's everything we grabbed from that yard sale. Should end up being pretty good, especially with those last couple shots in the dark. Very happy with the haul, and I'm very excited about the potential. So that's all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching, and they all look at me, 
I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap.